and row number one. This is view one, sunrise through the window. So for this one, um, I've chosen to use the one with the cream background because I think it will be easier to see. So rather than starting with the black, I'm going to start with the cream. So the first thing is to do yourself a slip knot, which I do through wrapping the yarn around my fingers and through so that the second bit comes nearer to your knuckles and then I go under the first loop, grab the second and bring it back through and then if you hold on to both loops or both strings and then pull whichever one for you has um, allows it to slip. Okay, we're now going to make a chain of 53. So nice, simple, grab the, the loop of yarn and pull it through. I'm sure most of you will be off a with a chain, but just in case you're not, then grab it, twist your hook as you come through. So I'm going to work a chain of 53. Um, I'm not going to make you watch every single one because that a long time and be a little bit boring for most of you. So um, I'll come back in a moment when I've finished the, the chain and we'll actually begin with the first row. Okay so here I've got a chain of 53 and for the first proper row we work a treble into the fourth chain from the hook. So that's one two, three, four. I'm going to work into there and this is going to be a UK treble, not an American treble. So just bear that in mind if you're watching this from, from the USA. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to wrap. I go into the bottom there and then grab the yarn and bring it back through. This first one's always a little bit twisty and fighting with you but just do it really slowly and gently and you'll be fine. So wrap again, pull through two, wrap again, pull through two and I'll just do a couple more. So wrap your yarn, go into the next hole, it's like a little set of waves across the bottom. Grab the yarn, bring it back through, grab the yarn again, pull through two, grab the yarn again, pull through two. So I'm going to steadily work my way across this row and I will join you again in a moment when we get to the end of this row and are ready to start the next round. Okay, see you again in a minute. Okay, so we have got our row of UK trebles there. Um, you'll have 51 and that includes the three chain at the beginning so just make sure you count that as a treble and we're going to stop with the final two loops on the hook because for the next row we are adding in the lovely sage green and either the black or the cream depending on which you have used so whichever you've chosen you'll need a second ball um, which you'll only use part of, but of course with this type of thing you'll use the rest up later. So, I'm um, going to get my sage green, wrap that over and pull it through. <clears throat> that joins it on so that you don't get a, a bleed of colour going across. Okay. Now there's a couple of tricky things going on at the moment. You won't feel like you've got enough fingers, some of you. Um, so we're actually going to be doing the crochet in the green. So at the moment I'm just going to do a three chain and that counts as one of the trebles going across. <clears throat> now, because we need to get the cream moving across the back, um, so that it can form the next part of the window frame. I'm going to start a treble but in the back loop only. Don't work into that first one there. You're working into the back loop only of the second one and 
we need to find the cream working yarn and also just tie that in there. So we're going to carry the cream across the back as we're working. So I'll show you that again. So we're wrapping, we're going into the back loop only and at the same time we're gathering up that cream working yarn there at the back and then pull that through so it's caught it nice and neatly behind. So that's two. Doing it again. See how we're catching that in there. So that's three. We're working 14 of these in total. I'm not forgetting each time to catch the cream yarn at the back. I have used my stitch markers so that I know as I get to them. I've put that in the front loop, bearing in mind that I'm working in the back loop only at the moment. <clears throat> so as I get to that final one, so I start working into the back loop there, pull it through two. I now need to gather up the cream yarn because we're going to work part of the window frame. And this time you wrap the cream yarn and pull it through and that stops the bleed of colour going into the next section. Then, so we're like this, then we're going to work um, three trebles and they are going round a front post. So these are your front posts. So you wrap as normal, go in and across grab it, pull it back through, round, through two, round and through two. Don't try and wrap your green yarn, <clears throat> we'll catch that um, when we do the next row. Just make sure that it stays across the back of the work. So again, wrap it, we go in from one side through to the other, pull it through. And again, in from one side, out through the other, grab it, pull it through and that will give a sort of raised look to it where this this section here has sort of pushed the green further back this has brought the cream really to the front and then must remember because I forgot there to go back to the green and finish off with that now, we're going to leave the cream there because this is where the second ball will come in shortly. So I need to um, make sure I've got my green there and it's all nice and free. And that is the front loop. And we're now going to work 15 stitches so each one is a treble into the back loop only. So one, two, three, four. So we'll keep working across this set of 15 in the centre until I reach the next set of stitch markers.
more to do. So I'm at my marker. I'm working into the back loop because my marker's in the front loop. And before I finish it, I now need to get the second ball of cream. <coughs> over, pull it through and then making sure that the green stays to the back. I'm working the front post trebles again. Again it's another three so that's one, two, and three and you can pull that a bit tight you see and that's there <coughs> find the green carrying it gently across the back we're going to loop it round and oops finish off that final stitch it's a little bit fiddly but you will get there so just be slow and careful with it. So you've now got to this point and we're going to gently take the cream. Don't have this too tight. Remember that you need a little bit of looseness to be able to crochet it into the back of the next row. And then we're back to work in trebles into, bear in mind that's my front loop, quite useful to mark. So we're going into the back loop only and we're going to work 15 UK trebles <coughs> across the And again, we're leaving the cream where it is. We only need it here now. We don't need it at the edge. If you're looking on a bigger image and feel like we're missing an edge, we're not. We're actually going to work a border when we've finished this. So the cream that you see running down the sides is the border that's put on at the end. nearly there. So this second row has seemed sort of quite a long row but it is quite technical in its own little way. So the last one worked into the chain of three and we'll just pause there so that you can <coughs> see what it is that you've been working to achieve. So we've got 15 here, so there's 14 trebles and a three chain. These are worked um, <coughs> excuse me, into um, the front post trebles and then we've got some trebles into the back loop only and some more front post trebles here and then into the back loop only there. So that's row two. Take your time with that because once you've got that set up, the next set of rows flow a lot more easily. Okay, see you again shortly. Okay, so row three. We're starting off with a chain of three and then one treble into each of the next 14 stitches. So that's going through and under both loops there. Okay, so you can see how you're going under everything. It gives a nice firm attachment like that. Two, three, four. So you 
can see how they're fully attached both sides. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and here we are at number fourteen. <clears throat> now, as before, we're going to change at this point where you've got two loops on your needle. So I'm going to let that one drop, and then I need to find the working yarn again. Again, a little bit tricky. This is the back of the work, by the way, so just bear that in mind. That's gone through there. Now, we're going to then work three trebles in the cream. And we've got to crochet around the loose strands. So that's not only from the one from before, but the one that we're carrying across. So I sort of have to gather them up, those two. Hopefully you can see that. And that's one. That's partly why you don't want them too tight. Oh, and then, of course, we've got to wear, we're changing back to the green working yarn. So in that final stitch, that third one, pulling the green through on the last working across. Now make sure your cream yarn is then out of the way because we're not carrying that back across. We're leaving it where it is. And we're now going to carry on and work another 15 normal UK trebles all the way across the middle. And when we get to the other side we're then going to work the same set of three cream ones and catch the green yarn as we do it. So we're nearly there. Okay, on my fifteenth stitch so I'm going in wrapping, bringing it back through, wrapping, pulling through two, then I'm going to drop the green yarn down, wrap the cream, pull that through. Again, don't pull it too tight, <coughs> you don't want those, those stitches to pull, and we're going to carry both the green threads across the back. So it's a treble, so we have to pick up both green threads there. And then find the double bit here. So there, got the wraps, I've got the double bit and the cream. A little bit fiddly, but you'll soon get used to it. And final one. There. Remember, swap back to the green, pull that through so you've got a nice neat join and we're back off doing our trebles all the way to the end. So I'll pause you there and we can pick up when we get to the other end. Okay. So this is where we are by the end of row three. So we're starting to get 
um, sort of theme going here. So row four has elements of both of how we've worked the other rows in them. So we start off with a chain of three and then we're going to work 14 UK trebles across to where we meet the cream. easy section to work. And as before, when we get to the 14th stitch, we're going to work most of the treble. Pause when we've got two loops. Then find the cream and join that in. And as we did on the previous front row, we're going to do a front post treble. So by doing these, it does help when I get around there. It helps to hide the green that might just try and poke through. So as you can see, a little bit fiddly. It's just fighting with them there. Let's just pull that a bit tighter. So that's one. This is partly as well why you don't want the green to be too tight. Oops, where are we? When we're running it across the back. Because it will start to force itself to the front. So, probably even a little bit looser than I did last time, I would, I would advise this time, leave yourself a, a little bit more to work with <clears throat> at that point. And then we're going to do another 15, just normal UK trebles across the front. I'm just going to pause it there and then we'll pick it back up as I get to the next section. Okay. So we've worked the 14 all the way across, we're into the 15th. So we pull that through, find the other piece of cream. So there's your other cream thread. Again, working front post trebles here. One. Three. I've got to the where we're changing the yarn colours, so don't forget. And again, leave yourself a, a nice, decent sized loop there. Pop the cream to the back and then start working some standard UK trebles all the way to the end of the row. Okay. Okay, so that's how we are at the end of row four. Moving on to row five. Row five is very similar to row three. So we start with a chain of three and then we're doing 14 UK trebles until we hit the cream section. So I'll just pause it for you there because I don't think you need to watch me do a load of trebles. <laughs> okay, so we're at the point where we're about to change colour. So I need the green to be at this 
side. At this point you might just need to untangle your yarn slightly. And that goes through nice and easily there. <clears throat> and again, we're working normal UK trebles, but we're gathering up all those green threads. So there's two green threads. There's the one from before, which is there, and then there's the green thread that we're carrying across. So that's one. You can see how much easier it is once you've got a little bit of loop going on there. And as we get to this point, we change back to the green thread and we're going to carry on working another 15 UK trebles at that point. So here we are again at the point where we're going to be changing the yarn. So we're pulling the cream through on the last two loops and we're working some standard UK trebles with the cream picking up both of these threads of green and tucking them in. So that's one. So into there and the green threads should be in the middle. Two. Three. And we're swapping back to the working green yarn as we get to this point. Okay. And then we're straight back into working 15 more UK trebles. Okay. So, this is where you will be at the end of row 5. So, rows 6, 7, 8, and 9 are basically repeating rows 4 and 5 twice. Um, and at the end of the final row, you will change colour onto yarn C, whatever colour that is for you. So we'll come back when we're ready to do the change for the yarn C and move on to row 10. Okay, we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so at the end of row 9, this is what you'll have. <clears throat> I haven't quite finished the last stitch off yet because we're now going to change yarn. Um, the colour that we're using next are, is the, the sort of mustardy colour and I'm using the, the Cotton Soft um, Antique Gold for this. So we change as before to the new yarn, <coughs> new colour and basically what you worked in green you're now going to work in um, the yellow. So we're going to do the chain of three and then just start with the trebles across. Now I'm not going to obviously make you watch me work lots and lots of this as there's no real point. But what I will do is explain the basics for the next section. So basically rows 10 to 15 are repeated in the same way that you've just done the last two sets of rows. So that's row fours and five. And you work four, rows four and row five at three times each. And at the very end of that, there is a slight difference. Um, you will need to carry the yarn C, uh, A across the back of the, of the final section. So what I'm going to do is basically work rows 10 to 14 and then come back part way through row 15 to show you how to work that final bit so that you know what to do for row 16. So carry on now until you're nearly at the end of, of row 15. So till you get to about here on row 15. And we'll come back and look at that in a moment. Okay, so at the end of round row 15 rather, you get to where you have your final two loops on. And then you pick the nearest cream, stretch it neatly across the back, and then you want to rejoin your yarn at that point. Point. So this should sit neatly across there. You then need to turn it round and making sure that you then pick up the working yarn. Chain three. 
and then start working your trebles wrapping at the back the cream yarn that you've just carried across. So a UK treble and make sure that that piece has been neatly caught up in the back there. So, you need to work across these 15 stitches with trebles and then when you get to here work three front post trebles and then continue with your 15 normal trebles across. We'll pick back up here because there's something just slightly different going to happen at this point. So I'm going to work 15 trebles three front post trebles and then another 15 standard trebles there. Okay, I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so we're at the point here where we're about to do the front post trebles but at this point we do need to change to the other ball of cream yarn. So I'm going to pull them through on the last two loops as I would if I was doing a colour change. Then we wrap and do our front post trebles and then we'll continue doing just normal trebles all the way to the end. So that's 15 more stitches across there. Okay, we'll join you again on <coughs> round 17. Okay, so here we are with row 17. So for this one, it's slightly different that we are doing half trebles rather than full. So we start off at the beginning with two chains and that counts as the first half treble. Now we're going to do 17 half trebles until we get to the point where we can change to the other ball of yarn and this is just so that we keep these cream um, balls of yarn with thread in the right place. So a half UK treble is a wrap into the hole so we're going under both again as we've done before pull that back through so you've got three on your, your loops, loops on your hook and then you grab your yarn and you pull it through all three. That's a half treble. So wrap into the hole, grab, bring it back through, wrap and through all three. So we're going to do this all the way. You need to work 17 of these stitches um, to where we then change the yarn so that we keep the cream yarn where we need it for our next row. So we'll just have a few seconds of this so that I can show you where to change your yarn and then I'll let you continue the rest of the row yourself. So what I'm going to do there is I like to keep the yarn to the back because it's always neater. So I've brought that towards me because this is the back of the work. I'm going to grab the next one and pull it all the way through. And that way we've got a nice clean join. So I did all the wraps with the first one and then I did the final pull through with the second yarn. And then we just continue across. So I'm going to leave you at that point and I'll join you again when we get to the other end. Do make sure at the end that you've got your full 51 stitches. It will be quite easy to, to lose one um, at some point. So just double check your numbers, make sure you've got your 51 stitches at the end. Okay, we'll see you again shortly. Okay, so for row 18 I've stopped just before I've finished the very last um, stitch. 
and that is because we're now going back to the uh, the mustardy colour, the, the lovely gold colour. So I'm pulling my last loop through on that one so that we've got that seamless join. Now for this row it's very similar to row two. You're basically working row two but um, with just a fraction of a difference in that you're using a different coloured yarn on row two you're obviously using the green. So I'm going to do three chains and then we're working the back loop only for these. So I'm doing the back loop only, but you have to carry the cream yarn along the back as you're working. And that's because when you get to here, you're gonna to need to work the cream stripe. So as in row two, you're working back loop only and gathering the cream yarn as you go across, or black if you're using black. Um, so there should be 14 of these plus that chain of three at the beginning so that you've got your 15 stitches down the side. Do keep checking that you've got the right number of stitches. It's really easy to lose or gain a stitch um, when you're working these. So I'm working all the way to this blue mark that I've put in. And so I've worked it that my final UK treble is being worked into there. So that is the front loop that stitch and that's the back loop. Okay and as I get to this final pull through this is where I need to change back to the cream yarn. Okay and then we're working the trebles around the front post so that's going behind that stitch there and then pulling all the way through and then we do that again and then we're doing it again and when we get to the final loop which you can see that we're going to pull through with the final three now keeping the cream yarn at the back, we're not looping it any longer, that's staying there. And then we're going to start working our trebles again into the back loop only. Like that. I know it looks a little bit messy. So we'll work another one there. But they do tighten up as you go along. So you should be able to see there, keep that one behind and we've carried on with that rope. We're going to carry on to here, to the next set of markers, then again working in that cream yarn we're going to do the trebles around the front loops again, uh, sorry not the front loops, around the um, front post trebles, so around the front posts, and then we're going back to working trebles in the back loop only to the end. So I'll show you that as we get to the to the final bit. Okay. So this is how we should look at the end of row 18. So you've got your trebles here all worked into the back loop only which forces this slightly forward which is good then you've got the front post trebles here in the cream then another batch of trebles worked into the back loop only three more front post trebles and another set of 15 that are worked into the back loop only except on that very end one where it's not really possible and don't worry because that disappears in two the um, edging border that we do. 
Okay, so that's where we are at that point, and we'll return in a moment with row 19. Okay, so row 19 is worked exactly as row 3, just using the relevant colours. So we're doing a chain of 3, and then we're working just normal UK trebles all the way across to where we hit the cream yarn stitches so that's the first one then two four six eight ten twelve thirteen and that is stitch number fourteen oh not forgetting that we now need to change to the cream to work the next set of trebles and also as we work this <coughs> a bit knotted up there as you do um, so we're going to be working the trebles but catching at the same time the two strands of mustard so or gold um, at each point so that's one two three and then keeping this to the back always make sure it as in it's the front here but it's the back of the work and finishing off with the last pull in the mustard and then we start again with the trebles in the mustard so I'll pause it there and let you carry on obviously you now leave the cream where it is you'll pick up the other cream and cover the mustard threads as you go along at the other side too so we'll see you in a moment at the end of the row okay so as we get to the end of this row um so row 19 we are in fact changing color so the only real difference at the end of this row is that you change into your Oops. To get a mess of that. new yarn. <clears throat> so at this point, I'm going to chop off a reasonable length there. I want to be able to secure that in. Um, and then I'm just going to set up the new yarn ready for the next row. Okay. Okay. So we've changed colour and we're now going to start working rows 20 through to 27 and those rows are worked exactly the same as rows four and five so these are the nice easy rows one little tip which i have mentioned in other videos before is that i like to do when i've changed a color to just do one loop with the tail um if there's several chains to do i just think it helps secure it the end so we then do another two chains with the new colour and then for this one we are just working our way across the row so as before you've got your standard UK trebles we're going to work 14 of these in the new colour the 15th one being that chain of three so you're working as before you're working your colour to here change into your cream remembering to work your front post trebles and then changing back to your colour which in this case is the nice apricot across there and doing the change again and if you need to do refer back to the videos for rows four and five 
for these but I think most people now will sort of just know where to go with this so um, I won't do a long stretch of video on it but I'll, I'll show you where I am um, as I get to the end of row 21 and then we'll just carry on from there okay see you again in a few minutes okay so I thought it might be useful to show you how we are at the end of row 21 so basically I've just changed colour here and worked a standard row of trebles across to here then three front post trebles there in the cream swapping back to the lovely apricot colour to go across then doing the same and through to the end and then when you turn round you are um, just doing trebles all the way across remembering to change colour and catch your yarn inside the stitches at the back here so we've another what four rows to do um, no f uh, six rows to do on that one because we have to get to row 27 so once we're at row 27 then I'll show you the next phase okay okay so here we are at the end of row 27 and I've chosen to pause there with two loops left on my needle because at this point we are going to change colour again before we work or as we work row 28. So um, I've stopped at that point I thought it might be nice for you to see where we'd got to and what you need to be looking for. Um, don't forget to keep the back as neat as you can making sure that you're catching all the threads that you need to catch as you go through. Okay, we'll see you in a moment for row 28. Okay, so rows 28 to 31 are worked exactly the same as the rows we've just been doing. So they're the same as rows 4 and 5 and you're going to repeat rows 4 and 5 twice. The only difference is going to be that we change colour. So for me, that takes me on to this lovely bright pink and as I've mentioned before I like to do the first of the chains in the new colour and then the next two in the normal working yarn and you can pull that one nice and tight you can also pull those tight as you go along and then we're just going to be working as before your standard trebles across the rows and obviously that's slightly different when you get to here so work exactly as you've been working for the next four rows just using your alternative colour and we'll see you again in a few moments okay so we're almost at the end of row 31 <clears throat> and what we have to remember here is that as we change back to the alternative colour yarn, so in this case the pink, that we are going to be crocheting in across the back the cream because we need to end up with the cream over here so that we can hide it. Um, okay, so we're ready to work row 32 and that's going to be worked exactly the same as row 16. Um, so for this I've just paused for at the end with two loops over because we now need to bring the cream or black depending on which you're working with and it needs to be a little bit loose when we start because as before we're going to crochet it in so it's hidden at the back. So if we pull those through those two loops making sure we don't over tighten so it needs to sit comfortably here across the back with just a little bit of give. So we do our usual chain of three and then start working UK trebles. And course make sure like we said that that gets tucked in neatly across the back there so that's a great way of hiding 
a string and not ending up with lots of loops across the back. So as before when you worked row 16 you're working trebles to here then three front post trebles here another set of 15 trebles and then another three front post trebles remembering to change to your alternative yarn um, as in the other cream when you get to here to pull it across to there so what I'm going to do is get to here and then we'll pick it back up there in a moment okay so as I mentioned <coughs> we've got to the point here where we want to change to the other thread of yarn so I have got to as normal where I leave two loops on the hook and I'm going to pull the other yarn up and work those final two loops with that okay so they've just I'll show you that again they've just pulled through and the other yarns just nicely tucked out of the way at the back and then we go to work our front post trebles and I'm going to try and push that cerise pink down and out of the way I think it gives a, a cleaner finish in the end there we go across and underneath and again across and underneath trying to avoid the pink catching the pink and then we just continue to work normal trebles all the way across and I'm going to leave that thread there to pick back up as we go along and go back along that row so I'm going to get to the end of this row and then when I'm ready turn for the next so we'll join you again in the next one just a moment okay so we're back with row 33 um, and row 33 is worked the same as row 17 in that this time we're working half trebles so I'm only going to do a chain of two this time and then it's a wrap in grab it back through wrap and through all three at once so that's wrap in grab the yarn pull it back through wrap and through all three so you're going to work half trebles all the way along this row the first 17 stitches are done with this particular thread of yarn when you get to the other end or part, part way along sorry after the 17 you change to this other yarn by when you've done the wrap and you pull in through you do the pull through with the alternative thread so I'll just show you exactly what I mean by that just making up the thread a little bit there and so here we are where we need to join the other thread so I'm going in and pulling that through in the normal way then bring this to the back because you want this to stay at the back of the work grab your new thread wrap and pull through all three and that will automatically then join your yarn so you're ready for the next stitch make sure you keep that tucked out of the way so carry on with these half trebles till you get to the end on the very final pull through make sure you swap back to the cerise pink yarn or whichever yarn you're you're needing at that point so make sure you swap back to your other color on the very last pull through of the very last stitch and we'll see you again shortly in row 34 okay so row 34 is worked just the same as row 2 and we start that off by having swapped to our colored thread 
and I'm going to work a chain of three and not forgetting that we need to take the cream thread back along here because we need it to end up here ready to work um, in a little while. So we're working normal UK trebles but only into the back of the loop. So that's one, two, So you can see there how we're leaving the front loop here and catching the cream thread as you go along. And as you'll probably notice, I have put some markers in. Oops. What am I doing? There we go. <laughs> I'll put some markers in where I want to stop and start because I just think that is so much easier. goes in here. And as we've done before, because we are swapping colours, <coughs> I'm going to do that on the final pull through. So I've stopped and gone on to my cream. So we're now on to the front post trebles and um, I'm going to use that stitch, that stitch and this stitch, which is not the easiest, but never mind, we'll manage. One, so wrap, go in from one side to the other, like that, and again. There's quite a lot of things to remember on this row, one of which I've just forgotten, which is to swap back to the pink yarn and make sure you leave a little, a little bit of, put that back in there so I don't lose the stitch, give a little bit of depth to that. And then I have marked the next stitch that I want to work into. So I'm going into the back of that stitch. So I marked the front and then I've worked into the back. And again, we're going to carry on across the row. So I'll leave you now to work to the end of the row, not forgetting to change to your cream once you get to this point here. Um, and I will see you at, at the end of this row, okay. So that is the end of row 34, um, which as you can see, we've now carried these up and there's the slight raised at the front there and across the back we've carried the pink, which is going to be crocheted in on the next row. So we'll get turned round and start with row 35. Okay, so row 35. We are working row 35 as row 3. <clears throat> so that's a chain of 3 and one treble into each of the next 14 stitches. And then, so we're doing just normal trebles 
and we're doing them under both loops again this time. So nice firm join and not making any specific definition on the on the other row. So it's trebles all the way across, not forgetting that when you get to here you have to change yarn and also crochet around the other ones. So we'll just get to that point just as a little refresher for anybody who may just have forgotten or um, be a slightly less experienced crochet. So we're nearly there. worked my 14th stitch, oops, not forgetting <laughs> to change yarn at the end. I need to bring the pink back over this side, which does snug itself on me. So I've got the pink back to this side because this is the reverse. Then pull the cream through and then we're doing a crocheted UK treble and we're picking up both loops and going under both loops there. So that's the tricky bit. We're under, we've picked up both of the bright pink threads and the other two here. Bring the yarn back through, that wraps it nicely. Round and through two, round and through two. I'm going to do it again, wrap go around both of them underneath so we've got both loops bring that back and once more so I've caught both loops pull that through and then we go back to the pink yarn okay and at that point keeping this cream at this side we're going to start again with the normal UK treble so we're going to work all the way along here, do the same at this point that we've done here and then work to the end and then we'll pick up again at the end of the row. Okay, so we've repeated or completed rather row 35. Um, so 34 and 35 were a completion of rows 2 and 3 and rows 36 and 37 are basically working rows four and five again which are the very simple rows where you do your set of trebles change your yarn at this point work your front post trebles for here and here all the ones in between are your normal UK treble when you turn around to do row 37 again you work in your normal trebles all the way across remembering to catch the yarn in the middle. So I won't demo those. If you do need to see them again, they are rows four and five on the video. Um, but after that, we'll, we'll then pick up because you do change colour at the end of row 37. Okay, we'll see you in a moment at that point. Okay, this is how we should be looking at the end of row 37 and I've just left the two loops on the hook um, in order to change yarn. Literally all you do for the next 10 rows is you change to your next colour of, of yarn. For me yarn F is violet so I'll be changing to this colour and then working the next 10 rows in exactly the same way that I've just done these. So that's repeating rows 4 and 5 five times until you get to that very last stitch on the very last row and then obviously we're changing colours again. Um, so I won't go through all that with you because that seems a little bit pointless and I'm sure by this stage you will have got those two rows off, off down in your head with no problem at all. So change to your new colour of yarn and then you basically work in ten rows in the same way that you did rows four and five, just keep repeating. So we'll see you in a little while um, to work the top final rows of this square. Okay, see you soon.
Okay, so we're at the end of row 47 and as you can see I've gone through the final stitch with the cream and you need to leave this just loose enough that when you come to work this next row you're going to crochet that in. Okay, I'll pause it there and we'll come back on row 48. Thanks. Okay, so back here with row 48. So as you can see, I've now cut the thread for this one and I've also cut the thread for the second one because we're going to work this whole row and all the subsequent rows in just one, using one ball of the cream or black if you're working with the black. So it's a nice simple row, again this one, in that you work a chain of three and then we're working UK trebles, 14 of them along this row and so we're going in as normal under those, that double one and we're picking up this other thread at the same time just to neaten everything up. So I need to work 14 UK trebles. Then as we get to the window frame, which will be in a minute. So I've got my 14th UK treble, making sure that you've caught that thread all the way across the back nasty loops left and then we're going to work the front post treble again around these three stitches so you've gone in from one side out the other pulled it through wrap through two wrap and through two and again so three front post trebles so here you can see you've got your chain of three, your 14 standard trebles, three front post trebles and then we're back into working standard trebles until we get to the next section of the cream and then you'll work another three front post trebles and then your 15 normal trebles and then just pause at the end and we'll start with the next row. Okay. Okay, so this uh, was the last of the main rows. We're now moving on to uh, row 49 and for this we're doing two chains and then we're working half trebles. So you wrap as before, go into your first stitch and then bring it back through, do the wrap and pull it through all three loops and that's your half treble. It just makes the stitch that bit shorter. So it's a wrap in, make sure you go under both, grab it, bring it back through, wrap and through all three. You're going to work all the way along this row to the other end and then turn, don't fasten off because we're going to continue the border in the same colour. Okay, we'll see you in a moment. Okay, so we've finished the row of half trebles and we've turned and then we're going to do a one chain and um, this doesn't count as a stitch on this particular row and then we're going to slip stitch into the next one. So a slip stitch is just where you grab some yarn and bring it through and go straight through the other one. And then we're going to chain three and that counts as a treble and we're going to work two trebles into the same hole and then we're going to miss two stitches and work three trebles into the next stitch 
Don't forget these are UK trebles. Oops. So we're going to work our way all the way along the side. Miss two, so one, two, work into the third one. So we'll join you again. One, two, three, when we get to the end of the row and we look to turn the corner. Okay, we'll see you again very soon. Okay, so um, when you've got to the end of the row here, there's just one, there's one stitch left at the end. So we've got one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 sets of three trebles there. So we turn the work this way, then we work two chains and that counts as your corner. And then we're going to work two trebles into this row and this row. So. Two, then again, one, two. Okay. Then we're going to work seven groups of three trebles across these 14 rows. So I'm going to work into this row, this row, this row, this row, this row, this row, this row and this row. So we're going to do that all the way down there. Um, and then we'll come back at that point. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay, so we've worked all our trebles nice and evenly spaced along there. There's seven sets of three. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to work four trebles as near as we can to the center of this, in fact. I'm going to work mine into there so it anchors it a little bit more in the centre. So if you can see where I've got my hook there, right in the middle. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to pick up again as we've done here with sets of three trebles. So I'm going to miss that one, go into this row here. One, two, three, and then miss a row and work the next set of three trebles. So we're going to do this all the way along. So we're going to keep missing a row and then working into a row, missing a row, working into a row. So you'll have another seven sets of three trebles down here, another um, set of four there, and then continue to the end till you've got to your um, set here where you've got another, I think it's another 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep. So when we get to this final corner, I'll come back and show you what to do for that little section. Okay, see you again shortly. Okay, so we've worked all the way down the sides doing four trebles into where the cream section is and then three trebles into every other row. So we're down here at the bottom and you then work three trebles into the row at the very bottom. You then work two chains and then you're missing your first stitch which is actually this one here. So it's the one that you've worked over and then we're going to start working into the base of this stitch. Okay um, and you work in three trebles again in here. One two, three, and then 
miss two, work into the next one. So you can see there's two trebles been missed there and there and we're working into the base of this one. And do that all the way along again. So miss two, work into the third. We'll come back at the next corner and do a quick check of counting of, of the um, sets of trebles and how we're going to work the next bit. Okay. Okay, so we're back uh, around at our third corner now. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 sets of trebles going across and then as before you work the corner with two chain and so we match you're working then three trebles into the side of this first cream row. So what you'll have at that point should be this nice neat sharp corner showing there. And then as before you're going to miss a row and work into a row and it's three sets, uh, sorry three trebles, three sets. So three trebles worked in to the side, miss a row going for the next row and this way you're going to have it nice and symmetrical at both sides. So as before you'll work the seven sets of three trebles up this side to here then work four trebles into the end of the cream row and then go back to working um, seven sets of three trebles up to the next one until you get all the way to the corner um, or not to the corner but to the end of the purple and then we'll pick up there to do the finish for the row so we'll see you again in a moment okay so we're at the final corner so you've worked up this side doing sets of four trebles into the cream section and then sets of three trebles into every other row end across there so you've got sets of seven up to here. Now when we get to the final um, corner as we did at the other side you're working two sets of trebles so that's two in there and then another two in here and then two chains and then you're going to slip stitch to the top of the original chain of three. Um, and then you will be turning your work in a minute, but we'll just do a quick recap so um, that you're happy with the numbers. So we've got 17 groups of three trebles going across the top and the bottom. You'll have 22 groups of three trebles going along the sides plus two sets of four and at this side you'll have two sets of two at the top on the original side you had two sets of two at the bottom so all this is listed in the instructions so do just take a minute to to do some counting make sure that you're all correct before you move on because you do want all your squares to slot together nicely at the end so we'll return in a moment with round two which finishes off this particular square okay Okay, so you've turned your work and then we're going to do a chain of three and that chain is actually going to count as a treble along this row here. So we're just going to ignore that one for now until we yeah, come back to this. Then we're going to work two trebles. one chain and two trebles into the corner space. So that's the two, two chain corner space. We're now going to work one treble into every stitch down the side 
and if we count correctly at the end you will end up with 82 stitches going down the side that will include these two of your corner stitches so work all the way down this edge to your next corner and then in the next corner two chain space you're going to work two trebles one chain and two trebles and then continue with just standard trebles down this side so when you've completed it you should end up with 55 stitches along the top and the bottom and 82 stitches down the side and four one chain spaces one in each corner so we'll come back in a few minutes and just show you the sides just so that you're 100% certain what you're doing and what you need to achieve um, and then we'll be all finished for that one. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay, so I've worked down the edge and I've made sure that I've got my 80 stitches. So this is just a little one for the corner. So one, two trebles, one chain, and another two trebles. In that corner, and then we're going to start the next side, right in that first stitch there. And we're going to work the trebles all the way across this end. Okay, so we'll come back and see you again shortly because I'm not going to make you watch me do a load of trebles. Okay. So here we are with the final piece done of the first view. Um, you finish here with a slip stitch and as said before you've got 55 stitches along the top and the bottom and 82 stitches at either side so it's a rather lovely piece um, when you've finished it and um, I hope you're happy with the first instalment of that. We're going to move on to the second view shortly, so we'll see you again in the next little video.